Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to everything you need is already inside of you. Everything you need is already within you. And in my previous video, I was talking to you about the cities, okay, how God cares about the city and that God appointed you and anointed you to live in a certain city and to have authority in certain territory, okay, that he appointed you to tear down the strongholds and the principalities that were overtaking the city with your kingdom assignment and what he's called you to do. And God starts speak, speaking to me further about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, because many times as we're going along our journey and we're doing great things and God has called us to something, okay? He called us to something and then all of a sudden we don't feel like we have what we need. We don't have the resources that are required to carry out the assignment. And so Sometimes we can start getting desperate and we can be seeking validation from outside resources, seeking validation through material things, through people. And, and God is saying everything you need is within you, is within yourself. And that can be, there can be some confusion because many times we see we feel like we need something or we need people or we need a certain status. And God is saying, when you are in relationship with me, I am all you need. I will take care of you. I will provide for you. I will make sure you get to where you have to go to where I called you to go. There's nothing that this material world can give you that I did not already give you. You are equipped with all the tools, just your being. The fabric in which I created you is enough. Because I created you with certain gifts, with certain talents, personalities, and uniqueness that it was specifically for you and what I've called you to do in the earth. And you can be confident in that and rest assured in that. And so he led me to scripture and it's Luke 17, 20 through 21. And the title of this passage is the coming of the kingdom. And it reads, now when he was asked by the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, see here or see there. For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. So in this particular passage, the Pharisees are asking Jesus, like, when is the kingdom of God coming? Like, we're looking up to the sky. We're looking to the heavens. When is this kingdom, your so-called kingdom that is not of this earth, when is it coming? And Jesus is like, the kingdom of God is not coming. It's here. <laughs> the kingdom of God is here. For indeed, it's within you. So we're naturally ready to be looking outside of ourselves for help, for resources, for validation for other people. And God is saying, it's within you. The kingdom of God is within. You have to look inside of yourself. You have to look at your heart. You have to look at what you're, what you're watching, what you're feeding yourself, what you're eating, what you're reading. All of that matters because that is planting seeds of what kingdom are you building within, within yourself. The Bible tells us that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is dwelling within you. So if you have the Holy Spirit, the advocate, the helper with all wisdom, 
all knowing, with all understanding, what else do you need? That means if you are lacking or if you feel as though you are lacking in resources, if you feel as though you are lacking in wisdom and knowledge about what God has called you to do, then you need to go and seek the father within. You need to go within, not without. God said, come seek me. Come seek me first. The Bible tells us, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. God said, who are you seeking? Are you seeking the world's validation? Are you seeking the big house, the car to validate you? Or are you seeking me? Because you have to be right within yourself. <laughs> In Romans 14, 17, it reads, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So the kingdom of God is within yourself. It's being able to be at peace, to have joy and righteousness within yourself, being able to dwell with the Holy Spirit inside of yourself. And until you are at peace with yourself, you will never be able to have peace around you until you are living a life of righteousness within yourself, of joy within yourself. You will never be able to experience true joy around you for this is the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating. It's not a matter. It's, no, it's nothing fleshly. It's nothing of the flesh, but it's your spirit. It's where your spirit dwells within yourself? Do you have peace within yourself? Do you have joy within yourself? What kind of kingdom are you building within yourself? Is it the kingdom of God or is it the kingdom of the world? Because you can't be lukewarm. The Holy Spirit can only dwell in the kingdom of God. God is saying to someone that everything you need is in the kingdom. You have to go within yourself. You have to be at peace within yourself. The world can't give you peace. The world can't give you joy. That's something that is a process that is developed when you are in relationship with God. And if you don't have that, you have to build your relationship, reading your word. You know, what are you feeding your temple? your eye gates, your ear gates, guarding your heart. All of that matters because that affects the seeds that you're planting within your in internal kingdom. Because there are many people who are not at peace, who are warring with themselves <laughs> because they don't have the Holy Spirit. They're, they're, they're feeding another kingdom. So there are some people that will never experience true joy, true peace here on earth. Some people are just living in hell mentally because they don't have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a gift. That's what the word tells us. And it has to be activated by believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior over your life. God said, I've given you everything that you need to go forth, to move forth, to carry out the assignment. If you don't have it right now, that means you don't need it right now. Who and what are you seeking? Are you coming to me first? Are you seeking? Are you going within? Are you being still so you can hear the instructions, the day-to-day -day instructions of what I'm calling you to do? God said, you don't need validation. You don't need a shout out. God said, seek me. Seek you first the kingdom. You got to get it right within yourself. I know many times we think that the kingdom of God is, is this place, like a physical place. And the Pharisees thought it was, a, it was a place that, you know, when is it coming? And it's like, it's not anything that you would be able to see in the flesh, but it's within you. And Jesus kept telling the Pharisees that my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is in a whole different dimension.
the, your body is a temple. Your body is where the holy temple is. So the world that is happening inside of you, what's going on inside of you is more important than the world around you. Because that is the kingdom. And so many times it can be confusing because we feel like we have to do all these outside things, which, you know, I'm not against. I'm not against going to church. I'm not against community. But I am going to say this. If you do not have the Holy Spirit, if you are not in relationship with God, where the Holy Spirit is activated and you are dwelling in the kingdom of God, where you have peace and joy and discernment to discern what's from God and what's not of God, who is sent by God and who is sent by the enemy, I highly recommend and you build your relationship with God, with yourself, where you have come to a place within yourself where you are at peace. Because if you don't have it within yourself, you're not going to find it in the church. Now, the church is good to help you along your journey to bring community. But this is a really personal, individual process between you and God. And I don't think we emphasize enough the importance of taking care of your body, what you're eating, what you're drinking. Because your body is the temple of where the kingdom dwells. To be able to enter the kingdom, there are there is a certain standard of living, of righteousness that you have to live to be able to dwell, to have true joy, true peace. Because the Bible does tell, the word tells us that if you're living a certain lifestyle, you're not going to be able to inherit the kingdom. So it starts with you. If you want to see change, it starts with you. And you have to be willing to go along the journey, willing to be able to go along that process of transformation. It's transformation on the inside out. Speaking of transformation, we have the My Journey to Self Challenge and going on inside Jordan's Journey app. There's a video instructions, a Bible reading plan. You can also join our community. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below or visit us on the web at jordansjourneycoaching.com. God loves you so much and so do I. Bye.